hey everyone welcome back to my channel in this video I will be showing you guys how to contour different layers so what I mean by that is in a previous video I showed you guys if you were to upload an image how you would have to erase each color individually but in this video I will show you how you can use contour to get those colors of that image so I'm going to show you two different images in this video and I'm going to start with Bart Simpson um, just because there's a lot of color in this and I want to show you guys how you can just use the contour button um, to add those colors to design space without having to go back through the image and delete each color separately right now I'm just going to delete all of the color out of this image and just leave the black outline so that when I add it to design space I can contour it and hide certain pieces and change the color So this next image is Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Um, I decided to do them together to show you that you can do an image if it's more than one character in that image. And again here I'm going to leave the black outline and since their ears and their eyes and their nose inside of their mouth is black, um, I'm going to leave that. So first we're going to start with duplicating the outline of Bart and then go into the contour. So whatever area of the image you want to work on, you want to start with that and you, what you'll do is you'll hide everything else around it. So here I want to start with his body color. So I'm going to hide everything but his face and his arms and his legs wherever it shows his um, skin color which is yellow one of the good things that I like about the contour option as well is that even if you forget a small detail you can always just go back to that same layer and hide it with the contour option
so as you can see I've gone back into this layer to hide certain things that I may have missed like his shirt and the wheels of the skateboard um, and then there's some small details here that I needed to also hide So I'm going to change the color of each layer. If you're going to add your different colors on top of the black outline, you can also just click on the layer. To duplicate it without having to select it in the actual design space. So here um, I did the eyes and a little part of the shoe but I forgot um, to add the bottom part to the white layer so I'm just going back and unhiding those to make sure that those will cut as well if you're adding if you're doing this image and you're adding it to a white shirt you wouldn't necessarily have to do the white portion of this image but if you if you're not then of course you will definitely have to go back and make sure you get all those white parts.
So here you have um, both images completed. And of course, if you were doing these images and cutting them out, you would definitely need to separate them on your mats by color. You can do these in whatever color you would like. It doesn't have to necessarily be the same color as the previous image that you uploaded. So since we're talking about contour, I want to go ahead and show you guys how to use the contour button when you are trying to mirror a text. So first I want to start by changing this font to something more of a bubble letter font. Right now I'm just going to even the space out with the letters a little bit more like close together and then I'm going to duplicate this twice so that I'm able to create that mirror image. So right now you don't have the option to contour so what you need to do is weld first and then you have the option to contour. Here you'll have to click each letter and by doing that it will make the font black. It will make the font more um, solid instead of hollow like it is right now. So you want to add um, the rectangular shape and then duplicate it so that you're able to use the shape to slice through the font. So with the first font, what I did was slice it through the middle and with this one, I'm going to slice off a little bit of the top so that it creates kind of a layered look.
So if you wanted to keep the font all black, um, it'll definitely be a lot easier to just attach all of this together and it'll cut out as one. But you can also just change the color of all of these if you want them to be different. So when you grab the square, just make sure that you unlock it so that you can size it however you need to to cover the font. So here is the completed project um, tutorial on how to contour different layers. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, comment below any questions. I will answer them if you have any. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you at the next video.